Alright, we are now in uh, Nienburg. Uh, this is Amadeus Burger. You've probably seen him before in some of my road trip videos. And he is here with the Powerwall 1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you are... Well, I heard you're not the first one in Europe, but at least we haven't heard about the other guys. So this is, might be one of the first Powerwall 1 videos at least in Europe. So you have some... Um, um, you have some uh, panels on the roof here, right? Eh? Yeah, we have a uh, 14 kilowatt peak uh, from to the west and to the east, and 5 kilowatt peak to the south. And those those panels, they feed the battery? And, yeah. yeah. Okay, so how does it work? I mean, how is it set up and everything? Um, the sun goes to the panels, okay. and uh, the electricity goes from the panels to the inverters on this side. Oh, there's some inverters over here? Yeah, <laughs> the blue ones. <laughs> oh, oh, I see, okay. All right, and then... And they, they go to our, uh, I, I say, personal grid. And if there are some, some juice over, okay. we uh, put it in the power wall. Right, uh, and then, okay, what is this uh, extra thing here? The power wall works uh, DC only, yeah? Okay. So you have to put an inverter. Uh, to um, to change AC DC. Also, this actually takes from from uh, your personal grid, changing into because... the power wall and back. So it's kind of, I mean, the the the, the, the panels are the DC. So it went the AC and then back to yeah back. yeah hmm. yeah. There is no possibility to do the DC from the panels to the power wall. Ah oh, okay yeah. And um, to the power wall too in Germany, Tesla said we will. Uh, sell the uh, Powerwall 2 AC and the Powerwall 2 DC, but Tesla said four weeks ago, I think, uh, we will not do the DC version, we will only do AC. Okay. It's an integrated inverter. Yeah. And, I mean, how, how was it to install this? Uh, yeah. The basic install is very easy. You get a wooden box okay. and you have to, um, to put a, what's heißt Halterung? <laughs> No, wall, wall connector. Wall connector, yeah, okay. Like you connect it to the wall. Okay. And, and then you, you take the box with the power wall in, hang it in, and, and you have to deconstruct the box, and the power wall is on the wall. Okay. And then you have to um, connect the cables, and you have to connect some side panels, and then you are finished. Well, so Tesla has to do this, or can. Can you do it? Uh, I can do this, but I'm a Tesla certified installateur, so I'm allowed to do this. Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, a normal electrici electricity <laughs> electrician yeah. people yeah. are not allowed to do this. You need a education from Tesla to do this. Oh, I yeah. see. Uh, but will you also get Powerwall 2? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked Tesla if uh, you can combine Powerwall 1 with Powerwall 2, yeah. but I have no answer yet. And if Tesla say yes, he will uh, be the Powerwall 2 in the future. Okay, and what is the difference between Powerwall 1 and 2? Uh, the most different is the capacity. Okay. The Powerwall 1 has 6.4 kilowatt hours, the Powerwall 2 will have 13.2 kilowatt hours. And mm -hmm. uh, the power is different. I have 2.5 kilowatt input and okay. output, and the Powerwall. Two will have. Uh, is it five? Yes, five. Se the power wall will have five, oh. but in the German grid, you only uh, are allowed to use four point six. Mm, regulations. Regulations. Uh, on one phase, three phase. You don't have uh, too much power on one phase. Hmm. I see. Uh, but I see that you have to install an extra box here, right? SMA something. Yeah. This is the inverter. This is the inverter. Yeah. Yeah, but in the two, Powerwall 2, it is in integrated... Uh, integrated inverter, yes. Hmm. But that noise, is that coming from the Powerwall? Yeah, it's from the Powerwall. It's a, it's a pump. Uh, it's a cooling system in the Powerwall, which temperates the Powerwall and uh, it can cool or heat the Powerwall, the batteries. So where, the, is there some kind of air vent or something? like? There's an air vent, I'd say. Okay, oh. so over there. Oh, some on the top. Yeah. I think. Oh, let me see. This. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. There, yeah. There are some air vents there, mm -hmm. so to cool down the mm -hmm. the batteries. I can uh, look the temperature of the battery, and um, my battery here in house it goes from twenty degrees to forty degrees. 
Oh, okay. Um, how do you communicate with the Powerwall? <laughs> um, you can use an Nbus system from SNA okay. to communicate with the Powerwall. Here's no app, but on the Powerwall 2 you will have an app, like a Tesla app. Mm. Where you can um, change the uh, uh, SOC uh, so for, uh, to reserve uh, oh. a backup okay. uh, capacity CD. So it has, I mean, it would be like, just like a car, right? Almost. Just like, like a car, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen the app and the education to yeah. Powerwall 2, but it, I don't allow to show. Okay. <laughs> so, so actually the Powerwall 2 would be a lot better than 1. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And it's will, it will be not so much uh, um, expensive. Okay. Yeah? But it's, it's a bit more expensive than the Powerwall 1, but not so much. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that you have 14 kilowatt hour TVs, and this is just six something, right? Six it's not enough for us. Oh, it's not enough. Uh, okay, so one day, one sunny day, and it's full. Right? Or it, it's uh, it's full very. You need three hours to get the power wall full. Wow. Yeah, 6.4 kilowatt hours, 2.5 kilowatt, and then you need three hours, and the power wall is full. Okay, if we have enough uh, power from the solar, from the solar. Oh. Yeah. Also, but uh, how is it configured? I mean, do you use it to to buy electricity from the grid, like cheap electricity? Or? No, no. no. Oh, can you? Can it be? It's yeah. not allowed in Germany to buy electricity from the grid and uh, save it in the uh, in a battery. Oh, it's not allowed. No, no. But I mean, the, the power wall is capable of doing it. It can do it in other countries, maybe. Um, I don't know. It, it's, I think uh, it has to do with the uh, configuration of the inverter or the communication uh, hmm. to the grid. There is a further, uh, a third thing on another place and the, on the um, main connector to the grid, a hmm. uh, measure system which um, measures uh, the electricity goes in and goes out from our area. Okay. Yeah? And this uh, measurement says, okay, you have to do uh, saving energy or you have to pull out. Hmm. But uh, what, I mean, you, you had the PV before you had the power wall. Yes, yes. And how, what was it before? Before, What did you do with the electricity? The electricity, I, when I'm not able to use electricity, I have to get it, to spend it in the open grid. Oh, yeah. okay. Or, okay, so and you, you sold it. I saw a cheap, it, yeah. cheap price or something. From this solar panels, I get uh, 14 cent per kilowatt hour. Okay. Yeah. And if you buy? If I buy, I have to pay 28 cent per kilowatt oh. hour. Oh, so so it's, it's cheaper to use your, your energy for your own. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and what is this electricity used for in, in this building? Or? Um, oh, for cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For two private uh, uh, flats and for our company. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. No. So we, we have a lot of more electricity need in the year than a, a private person. We need uh, 35 megawatt hours in the year. And a private person in Germany with, uh, who doesn't heat with yeah. electricity needs uh, 2,000, 3,000 kilowatt hours per year. Oh, that's low yeah. in Germany. Yeah. yeah, in Norway it's a lot higher. Yeah. But I think you heat with electricity. Oh, yes. Yeah? yes. Okay, we, mm. we uh, don't do that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but well, do you know, I mean, what, what other countries can use the, the power wall for? Like Norway or other countries, uh, let's say in the US or... I mean. they, they can use it, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to think about the price of electricity. Um, Okay. If, if it's uh, if it's a good idea to use it, hmm. if a very cheap uh, electricity price, like Norway, yeah, yeah. like Norway, uh, the power will helps helps you not uh, to um, to uh, get your price low, save money, yeah, to save money, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess maybe in a cabin or something like that where you don't have grid, yeah, then it makes sense, but putting but, it on but my you own, need the grid uh, for the power wall. Without grid, the power wall doesn't work. What, what, you you need the signal, the, the 50 hertz signal from the grid. But what about in a cabin with a... yeah, does it work? I no, I, I think no. Hmm. Okay, well I have to find out. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't take our word for it. Yeah. But, uh, hmm. Alright, um, thank you so much for, for the display.
Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it. It's it's kind of huge. If you go closer, you see, you see how big the power wall is. And the power wall too would be similar size, right? And uh, it's a similar size, yeah. Okay, and this, how many kilos is this? I don't remember right. I think 80 to 90 kilograms. Okay. And the power wall too will have 125 kilograms. Whoa. Yeah. So you actually have to... You need two persons to, yeah. to install the power wall. Yeah. And, and you also have to like figure out if the wall can handle the weight. The wall has to handle the weight and uh, the power wall too you also can uh, put on the ground and only oh. connect to the wall. Yeah? Oh, because I mean what kind of wall is this? Is it concrete or...? This is a concrete wall with a wooden, uh, wooden so, part on it. So I mean, if you have a too weak wall then you cannot uh, yeah. mount it there. You should not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, um, thank you so much for the display. Um, yes, so I guess if there are more questions, uh, they can comment and then we try to ask. I mean, we try to answer. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.